What's going on there guys? Good morning, uh, good afternoon out here. It is the Earth Master on this, uh, well, 12-28-2021 date. It is Tuesday, about 11 a.m. California time uh, here um, on the West Coast. Activity on the Earthquake 3D globe kind of picking up overnight. A little bit of movement along the North American continent. The latest quake, a 4.6 earthquake, pretty deep movement once again around the Fiji Islands there. You can see that ring on the globe indicating uh, some pretty deep earthquake activity. Uh, looking at the latest map here shows the movement down here in the Fiji Islands area. Uh, pretty deep movement, 576 kilometers for a 4.6 and some other activity around the Vanuatu area including uh, another deep earthquake, 213 kilometers for a 4.5. We did see some further activity down into the New Zealand area overnight. Of course, it's kind of expected with all the deep movement we've been seeing here along the Fiji Islands area, indicating some pressure uh, transfer down here to the south. A little bit of surface rupture, uh, 4.5, couple of them looks like around the uh, just off the uh, Cook Strait, actually right around the Cook Strait, looks like it's just offshore. Um, at least one of those is. Uh, no subduction zone quakes here at the moment to report along the Hikrangi subduction zone. Just a couple of those fours kicking off uh, overnight with some adjustment due to the uh, deeper activity up here to the north. Uh, the Indonesia area looking a little active today as well. Not as normal, I guess. But we are seeing some deeper earthquake activity in this region as well. 4.9 at 167 kilometers. And uh, another earthquake up here just to the north. Uh, 4.7, a little bit shallower at 26 kilometers. Up around the areas northward here, India region, seen a 4.7 and uh, pretty deep movement around the Afghanistan area as well with a 4.2 at 213 kilometers. Mediterranean Sea has since calmed down. Uh, not, not a whole lot of activity to report around the Greece region. The Atlantic Ocean looks clear north to south. And the Puerto Rico area getting in on some activity, ramping up around the Puerto Rico Trench with a little swarming down here. Somewhat deeper movement, uh, but uh, all kind of minor activity, just some threes and twos kicking off north of the uh, Puerto Rico area. There's that movement from yesterday, South Carolina region with that 3.3 and that little aftershock sequence there, but no renewed movement here in the eastern part of the country. Uh, as well as the, uh, let's go ahead and bring up the all magnitudes. Uh, we did see a little bit of movement overnight along the New Madrid zone, a little microquake, Blytheville, Arkansas, 11.3 kilometers there into the New Madrid zone. Uh, a little bit of activity throughout Texas. This was last night when we had that 4.5 and Kansas as well. So um, not a whole lot uh, has picked up overnight in this region. The West Coast area, looking, uh, yeah. Looking spotty. That's about uh, the best I can say for the California region. A little bit of movement uh, outside of the Petrolia area. A deep, uh, almost abduction zone quake there, 14 kilometers for a 2.5 magnitude earthquake there in the Northern California region. But not a whole lot going on here in the California area. If you look at the Ridgecrest, uh, Long Valley, and the Antelope Valley area, I mean, things are just kind of kind of at a standstill at the moment. There's not a whole lot going on at all. I think uh, a little day or so of a uh, quiet period, we should see this thing really ramp up. Uh, Intermountain West regions as well, pretty quiet. Uh, a little bit of activity up in Montana and the Washington area, but overall, this is not, uh, not impressive one bit. The Alaska region, some movement, of course, microquake activity, similar to California along the uh, uh, well, of course, a different setup here, subduction zone, a lot of microquakes inland. Uh, one little earthquake up north, a uh, pretty shallow one, 3.1, way up there. And the uh, rest of the Pacific Ring of Fire, look at that, it looks pretty dim. Not a whole lot of movement going on here over the last 24 hours for sure. Hawaii, uh, this Lohi Seamount earthquake was from last night, yesterday I should say. Uh, no renewed movement overnight. Southeast flank looking pretty active. Uh, and some activity around the Kilauea volcano, which has resumed operation of its uh, little pause in activity. Uh, there at Lava Lake, the eruption continued after a two-day pause. 
this activity resembles an observed prior uh, to the recent eruptive pause that remains confined within the crater there at uh, Hawaii Volcano National Park. There's no indications of uh, migrating activity anywhere else on Kilauea, so just basically confined there at the crater area. And of course the watch and the orange color code remains in effect there at Kilauea Volcano. All other volcanoes that, uh, in at, well, at least minor at the moment, uh, far as the big island goes. Let's go ahead and check out the EMSC model. I'd like to double check, make sure the uh, USGS is doing their job right. There's some activity there in the um, Gulf of California region that didn't get reported yesterday. Of course, that's a 4.1. I think we've seen a couple 4.1s there. Never, never made it on the map, on the USGS map. And of course, these guys normally show 4.0 and above. Even if it's like a, I believe a three or something, they'll show it down here in the Gulf. But these guys are not. Uh, they don't want to show that activity. Uh, even on the EMSC map, things are kind of spotty. I don't see any activity around the um, uh, Canary Islands. Just maybe some minor stuff. Uh, but overall, just pretty spotty throughout the entire world at the moment. Looking at the Yellowstone, of course, that's probably not uh, not uh, happening. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. A couple small little spikes of an earthquake there overnight. You can see the microquake activity around the northwest uh, edge of the caldera there at Yellowstone. Pulling up Maple Creek Station, you can see these two defined earthquakes, just uh, microquakes. Uh, but then again, uh, let's see if uh, USGS is reporting them. Surprise, surprise, abracadabra. Make the earthquakes disappear or never even appear. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Looks pretty, uh, yeah, looks pretty quiet here. Um, tremor map last night, of course, was pretty absent of movement once again. Uh, something, I don't know, maybe we're gearing up for something pretty significant here. Looks kind of, kind of active, at least in terms of being quiet, you know, kind of like the calm before the storm. Uh, let's check out the solar weather on the sun not that i wanted the uh let's see if i can pull this up accurately um yeah it looks like we had an m flare overnight looks pretty low in the m category m 1.8 and an m 1.6 flaring activity 90 percent chance of a flare uh, at least c flare category has been raised looks like they've upped the x flare category too to a five percent and uh, so it looks like things kind of bumping up a little bit here of course these things i've always said these things can change in the blink of an eye you know we can issue forecasts and whatnot but uh you know it's it's up to the sun if it wants to uh create a significant flare which uh has nothing to do with us we don't uh we can't control that activity so yeah looks like the uh 2918 sunspot and 2916 is a uh pose a pretty good hazard these two right here this one looks this one's 2916 is pretty well earth directed here and it does have some like dynamic act uh, dynamic polarities uh and pr possibly producing some uh, good sized flares these other ones kind of decaying running off the globe uh back behind they're gonna have to watch these as well but it's definitely active on the sun no doubt but 2916 i think poses the uh the biggest threat here in the uh solar flare threat pretty significant looking and it's definitely earth faced so any activity uh that does kick off cme or flaring is definitely earth directed uh let's see what else we got up in the canada region i think i think things are up there uh, pretty quiet as well i mean the north american continent here still got the earthquake from a couple days ago so no new movement here on the earthquake canada map all this activity pretty well old, a couple days old at least, some of it uh, weeks old. Uh, for those watching this video, I am giving away uh, decals once again. And for the folks, of course, watching the live stream, uh, if you haven't got a decal, um, I'm going to be sending out some more. Look at that in uh, BC. Something kind of kicking up there on the uh, seismograph stations. Not for sure what that is. 
I uh, can't tell if that's earthquake activity or some type of interference, but there's definitely uh, something showing up here. You'll see it coming up around the bend on the scroll. But uh, I am giving away, once again, um, some decals with the Earthmaster logo on it. Uh, and they're waterproof and whatnot, so you can put them on your car. They don't fade. I've had mine on there for uh, uh, for a year now, and they've, uh, they don't fade. For those of for those of you that got them before, you'll uh, they can testify that uh, they're pretty well weather resistant when it comes to fading and peeling and all that stuff. So if you want some free channel decals with the Earthmaster logo, uh, well, well, first thing you got to do is uh, send me an email, and my email is write this down. It is also here on the channel. It's earthmastermail at gmail.com send me an email with your name and your address and I'll get those out um, I know I sent hundreds of them out last time to people all over the world and uh, it doesn't matter if you're New Zealand uh, Australia Germany uh, wherever you're watching the uh, Earthmaster show at I will send them out to you free of charge and uh, get you a couple decals out in the mail i try to send about maybe two to each uh, request two to three i can't do 10 or 20. um it's just uh, a lot of people requesting 10 or 20 but it's not feasible but i will send some out folks if you want some once again earthmastermail at gmail.com uh, for those watching the video and uh or the live stream and i will send those out but still kind of looking at that signature there on the bc station kind of some odd odd activity i'm not for sure what that is doesn't look like earthquake activity but then again it could i don't know uh petrolia also showed a little bit of movement there too along the northern california coast so uh just kind of watching this activity see how it uh see how it plays out today all right guys have a good day we will chat you guys a little bit later remember earthmastermail at gmail.com address name and uh, we'll get those off to you have a good day folks peace out